Oh, hey there. I'm Doctor, Ash's AI assistant, and I'll be walking you through this episode. Think of me as your virtual co-host for breaking down complex healthcare topics and making them easier to apply in practice. Let's dive in. AI is reshaping healthcare, offering faster documentation and decision support. But using AI like ChatGPT with patient data demands compliance. Let's explore how to navigate this transformative landscape safely. HIPAA compliance is crucial when handling patient data. A Business Associate Agreement, BAA, is mandatory for any tool managing protected health information, PHI. Unfortunately, standard chat GPT, free or plus, does not offer a BAA. Only enterprise-grade solutions like Microsoft Azure OpenAI or Nuance Stax Copilot meet HIPAA standards. Enhancing privacy involves turning off chat history, training, and enabling two-factor authentication. While these steps boost security, they don't make ChatGPT HIPAA compliant. Let's delve into these measures. Log into ChatGPT and navigate to settings. Turn off chat history and training and enable two-factor authentication. Remember to save backup codes for added security. These settings enhance privacy, but don't ensure HIPAA compliance. Always be cautious when handling sensitive data. To de-identify patient data, remove all 18 HIPAA identifiers. These include names, dates, contact info, and more. Let's explore how to ensure data privacy. For example, replace John Doe with name and March 3rd with Ho jun 8. Using bracketed labels ensures data is de-identified effectively. You can also use my prompt instructing ChatGPT to de-identify data. Example, you are a HIPAA-aware assistant. De-identify the following clinical text in accordance with the HIPAA Safe Harbor Rule. 45 CFR section 164, 514 B. Remove all 18 HIPAA A identifiers, including names, geographic info smaller than a state, full dates, phone numbers, email addresses, MRNs, and any other potentially identifying details. Replace removed elements with brackets, such as name, DOB, MRN or address. Preserve age if under 90. Generalize age 90 plus as nonagenarian or age 90 plus. Do not make up replacements, only redact what's necessary. Return only the de-identified version. Always remove PHI before posting into ChatGPT. Remember, ChatGPT can remove PHI, but not reliably all the time. At the end of the day, you are legally responsible for what you paste into ChatGPT. Download the free toolkit for safe usage guidelines and examples. Let's ensure safe AI usage in healthcare. By following these practices, you'll protect patient data and stay compliant. Always consult your organization's legal slash compliance team before integrating AI into your clinical workflow. Let's recap the key points and takeaways from this video. We've explored AI's role in healthcare, HIPAA requirements, and privacy measures. Remember, turn off chat history and training in ChatGPT settings. Enable two-factor authentication, 2FA, for your OpenAI account. Never input real patient names, dates, MRNs, or contact info. Use ChatGPT upstream, for example, generate templates, not downstream, for example, after pasting PHI. Use my prompt to help you remove PHI for extra security, but don't rely on it fully. For advanced use, consider Regex filters or HIPAA-compliant AI platforms. I built a free toolkit to help you do this safely. It includes the 18 identifiers, a ready-to-use prompt, before and after examples, and a printable checklist. You can download it right now from the video description with the link to my Patreon. If you found this useful, subscribe for more tools that make your clinical life easier. Drop your workflow questions in the comments. And check out my Physician Efficiency series to see how AI is transforming hospital medicine. Stay safe and stay sharp.